guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here don't forget to like comment and subscribe and if you're not new thank you so much for coming back and watching another video so today I am going to be showing you guys how to make the ultimate charcuterie board So if you don't know what a charcuterie board is, it's like an adult Lunchable. I'm sure you guys have seen these on Instagram, Pinterest. I made my first charcuterie board last week and I really wanted to show you guys how to make one. So I'm going to take you through everything that you'll need and to show you how to really make it pretty. So in today's charcuterie board, I'm going to be using five different cheeses. Um, I got all except for one from Trader Joe's. So this is a blueberry vanilla goat cheese, unexpected cheddar, a manchego, brie I got from Aldi, and then this is just a blue cheese that I got from Trader Joe's. So I will walk you guys through everything else. The meats that I'm gonna be using today is a pepper coated salami and a prosciutto. You can do pepperoni, you can do ham, you can do turkey. Um, but these are what I'm using today, just really simple. Um, I'm also gonna use some garlic clove stuffed olives. I have some sweet and sour jerkin. I have some pepper jelly from Trader Joe's, some fig butter. I have grapes, pomegranate, passion fruit, persimmon, blueberries, blackberries, peppers, um, some cucumbers, some strawberries, some figs, some pretty flowers, and I also have um, some rosemary. These are some of the crackers I'm gonna use. I should have put them up here. But I have some pretzels. I have some fig and olive crisps from Trader Joe's. I have some of these and some chocolate. Last but not least, I'm really excited to use this honeycomb. Um, and then I just have some pecans, some almonds, some dried cherries, some dried raisins, some Parmesan crisps, and some brioche toast. I have this really cute fruit preserve. It's peach, bourbon, and cardamom, and these are really cute to put on your charcuterie board. If you just go in the cheese section and look for like a mini jam, um, they should have something like that. Okay, so after you have everything that you're gonna use gathered, you want to find some sort of tray that you're gonna arrange it on. And being that this isn't meant for food necessarily, I went ahead and cleaned it down, scrubbed it down, and I'm also going to line it with some parchment paper. So I've already, I thought this was like perfect, but it's not. So I'm gonna trim a little bit of this off. But what I like to do is start off with the cheeses. You can cut them however you want. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut them up and then I'll be right back to show you how we're gonna assemble the cheeses. So here is how our board is looking. I put the blue cheese over here, the goat cheese right here. I put the manchego and a little design. I just cut them into little triangles and um, crisscrossed them. And then I have a brie over here. And in this corner, I have the unexpected cheddar. Now, when you guys are arranging this, be sure, be sure to have gloves on. Nobody is eating this, so I'm not working with gloves today. But when you're doing this for an event, um, make sure you have gloves on because you don't want bacteria to spread by using your bare hands. So the next step after you've arranged your cheese however you want, um, make sure not to bunch it up all together, just spread it out um, with the different colors, the different shapes, be sure to spread it out. Now I'm going to go ahead and take our prosciutto and arrange it. Prosciutto is very, very thin and dainty, so what I like to do is just kind of like ball it up, no particular way, just kind of ball it up and decide where you want to put it. So I'm going to put it next to the manchego. Also, it's important to make sure you're putting stuff next to stuff that will pair well together. So I'm just going to take our prosciutto and just make like a little ribbon, probably going this way. So let's do that. All right, so 
we've got our prosciutto. You see we have like two different kind of ribbons going. Now we're going to do our pepper coated salami. How I like to do this salami is just take a slice, fold it in half, and then fold it in another half to where it resembles like a flower a little bit. The pepper is falling off, but it's okay. And then we're gonna find where we wanna put this salami. So I'm thinking, um, let's put it over here just to create some contrast. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold all of these up and come back when I finish. All right, so as you can see, I've aligned the salami over here. No particular method to my madness, just packing it in there. So next, grab some clear ramekins. If you don't already have some of these at home, you can get them from the dollar store. And what I'm going to do is just randomly place these. So we can put one over here. And we'll put one right here. All right, so I have my four ramekins placed, and in the ramekins, you're gonna put stuff that has liquid, like your olives. Um, you can put like a dip, like some pepper jelly or some fig butter, so that's what I'm gonna do. All right, so I have pretty much everything in the ramekin. I still don't know what I wanna put in this one, so I'm just gonna let that come to me. But now we can start laying our fruit. So you wanna make sure that you um, look at the colors and make sure you're pairing stuff that really like brightens things up. So I wouldn't put a white or yellow fruit over here because I already have a white cheese right here. So I'm just gonna put some grapes. I'm gonna put some blackberries over here. I really wanna fill every corner so that there's no white anywhere. Like, I don't wanna see any white. We can put some blackberries over here. We can take a strawberry and place on top right here, just to kind of fill everything in. Our passion fruit, I'm gonna go ahead and place right here because it's really, really pretty and we really want that to show. I have some persimmon right here that I'm just gonna lay like so. And we could even like, really just arrange it to your liking. I have a pomegranate section that we can intertwine right there. I have some cucumbers. I have some cucumbers that I can place. Eh. I'm gonna place these back by the pomegranate just to kind of set the pomegranate up. So cucumbers back here. I have some figs that we can intertwine. We can do some over here by our blue cheese. Just really whatever you like, however you want it is what you're doing. Kind of arrange my peppers like this um, with the colors. And we can put that right by our manchego. I love these truffle marcona nuts from Trader Joe's. Put your nuts wherever you have some space. So, oh my God, they wanna keep going in there. Remember, this is your board, whatever you like incorporate i'm gonna put some of this golden berry blend right here and our goal is for everything to have some color some dimension And again, make sure you have gloves on. I'm using my hands, my bare hands. Although they are clean, I'm using my bare hands because it's just me. But make sure when you're doing this that you're using gloves. Put some rosemary right here. 
So I've decided that in this ramekin, I'm gonna put some honeycomb. I ordered this honeycomb off of Amazon. Honeycomb is typically very expensive, but I got it for a good price off of Amazon. So when you're getting your honeycomb out, make sure you use like a tong or a fork or something because it's very sticky. Uh-oh, I don't wanna break it. Okay. Uh-oh. It's very sticky. We can go ahead and use the whole thing. So, I don't know if you guys saw me just put this sprig of rosemary. Um, just to brighten things up, add some color and dimension, I am going to put some pepper jelly on top of this brie. I feel like it's really, really pretty. And it also adds some flavor to your brie. So this is just some pepper jelly from Trader Joe's. I'm just gonna add some blueberries in just to kind of fill out the gaps. And this is blueberry vanilla goat cheese. So like I said, pair things next to things that they go with. Pomegranate seeds. So I'm gonna add them to the top of our goat cheese just for some color. We can put some blackberries down here. So that there's no white space. That's our whole goal, is to have no white space on this whole board. So, wherever you see white space, go in and fill it with some nuts, fill it with some fruit, whatever you see fit. Here I have some fresh baby's breath, and I'm just going to insert this just throughout, just to fill in. And you cut it to however you need it to be. And then I showed you guys our beautiful edible flowers earlier. So just play with them and just place them however you see fit. So it may take a minute to see exactly where you need to put them, but Again, remember your colors. Remember your colors, they're very delicate. A honey dipper, so I like to place this right by my honey. Um, you can go ahead and put whatever jam that you're using, um, place it wherever you're gonna place it. I think I'm gonna place mine place mine over here with our honey near our honeycomb and just take your flowers and just arrange them however you like so here is your finished completed charcuterie board it's super pretty super colorful Remember to contrast those colors and fill in every spot with something. For your crackers, I don't do anything special. However, I do like to do them separate from the actual charcuterie board. So the key is to just make sure you have a bit of a variety. And I also put some chocolate there um, because chocolate does pair well with the fruit. So this is our cracker board. Okay guys. So I hope you were able to learn something from my charcuterie tutorial. It's really, really simple. Um, once you get the hang of it and just arranging everything is the key. Make sure you're contrasting your, oh, stuff is falling off. But just make sure you guys are contrasting all of your colors um, and picking things that taste good, stuff that's flavorful. I like to use high quality ingredients. 
So for this cheese board, I would say it's probably about 100 to 125 dollars to create this exact cheese board because i have exotic fruits like passion fruit i have persimmons i even bought some dragon fruit i have five cheeses but it doesn't have to be that much you can easily make a charcuterie board including the crackers for 20 bucks um but you just have to scale back a little bit I have the um edible flowers and the herbs so you do not have to make your charcuterie board as expensive as this one but be sure to use things that are tasty things that you like things that your guests will like and remember when you're putting this together be sure to use gloves i did not because nobody is eating this but when you put yours together i'm sure it will be for an event or people you're having over so make sure to have gloves on because being clean is key being safe is key um, but yeah, just have fun with it. Pair some things together. I don't like certain things, so I didn't include it. Personalize this to you and your guests and just have fun with it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.